there, my name is Beth, and today I have for you an unhaul. Um, so whereas a regular haul is opening books and getting new books, an unhaul is getting rid of books, and that's what I'm doing today. I've gone through all my shelves. I have one shelf above my desk here, and I have another shelf in a separate room, and I went through all those books, and I have a giant stack in front of me of 48 books that I'm getting rid of. I'm going to be donating them to the local charity shop. And, um, yeah, I'm, <laughs> because I haven't read in a few years, and because I bought all these books a few years ago, I kind of went through and picked out ones that I know I'm probably not going to get to, and I'm probably not as interested in reading as I was back three or four years ago when I first bought these, because I've changed a lot as a person and as a reader, and the books I want to read now have changed a lot since back in the day. So I have four, yeah, I have four stacks in front of me. I have a pile of graphic novels, standalones, series books, and uh, non-YA books, and that's kind of how we're going to do this unhaul. So I'm warning you, it might be a long video, because I do have 48 books to talk about, and I kind of want to give, like some reason, but uh, I'm going to show you all of them, and then I might kind of go by, like, the piles as to why I'm getting rid of them. So, so I'm going to start with graphic novels. Um, I am getting rid of all of my graphic novels, except for one, and that is Seconds. I've read Seconds, um, actually in the other room, but it is really cute and really well done. I have read it, and I do plan on reading it again, but all of the other graphic novels, I just don't see myself reading. I read Rat Queens uh, a couple of weeks ago for the readathon, and I just didn't really enjoy it. And I don't know if it's because it's a graphic novel or if it's because I just wasn't into the actual story. But yes, so going through them, I will talk about them. So the first one I have is Space Dumplings. Um, this book interested me back when I first got it. Again, all of these did. But I just, I don't see myself reading it. So, yeah. And then I have In Real Life. I have read this one. Again, I don't think I'm going to pick it up again. I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought. So Then we have the one that actually started all this. In Rat Queens. I did not like this. And I will not continue on with the... Uh, adventure and yeah so I'm gonna donate it to somebody who will love it. Then I have the first four volumes of The Wicked and the Divine. I've read all of these. I just kind of gave up on the series. I feel like if I started it again I might enjoy it but there's so many other things I want to read so. Then we have the first five volumes of East of West. Again, this is one I really wasn't into. Um, I've read, I think, all of these, if not the first four, and this one follows the four horsemen of the apocalypse, and it just, it got kind of boring after a while, in my opinion, but yeah, so I'm going to be getting rid of these. And this one, <laughs> I don't know. This might, these ones might stay, just because overthinking it a little bit, but I also do have a great desire to give them away, and uh, that is the first six volumes of Saga. This is hugely popular. It was interesting. I really like these, but I just don't see myself continuing on with the story. And I also figure that if I get rid of these now and change my mind to start rereading it, I can just buy them again as I read them. So, yeah. Then I have the Alex and Ada trilogy of graphic novels. I have read, I have finished, and I think I reviewed these sometime, but I don't see myself rereading these anytime soon, so... Actually, I don't see myself reading these ever, so. And then I have four that I have not read, but I don't, 
I'm just not in a graphic novel place anymore. Um, so we have Lumberjanes Volume 1, Miss Marvel Volume 1, and I know this was part of my August TBR, but I just don't think that I'm going to get to graphic novels anytime soon. And I don't want to just keep these around in case, so. And then we have Sex Criminals and Thor, the Goddess of Thunder, both volumes one, same as the others. I just don't see them getting read anytime soon, and I don't want to just keep them for the fact of having them. So, Okay, <laughs> so it's one, two the stack of standalones. There are a couple of ones that might shock some people, but um, why not? So first we have Armada by Ernest Klein. I read this oh, four or five years ago, and I gave this three or three and a half stars. I probably won't ever reread this. Um, Then I have Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I read it. It's not really for me. And I didn't, I enjoyed it enough to get through it, but I won't read it ever again. So. <laughs> this one's going to shock some people. This is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. This is one of the most beloved series, uh, books on BookTube, and I did not like it at all. Like, I think I gave it a one, if not two stars. I am never going to read this book again. It was not for me, and it is one of my least favorite books. So, then I have The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. This was supposed to be in my um, Reading Rush TBR, and I didn't get to it, but it's also, I read the first 15 pages and just didn't I had no interest, so I'm going to donate it to somebody who will. I have read this book previously, but it's not what I'm looking for now. So Then I have My True Love Gave to Me. This is an anthology of short stories, or a collection of short stories, um, all edited by Stephanie Perkins by famous YA authors. And it's about holiday stories, but I've owned this for four or five years now, and I probably will not read it. Then we have The Sin Eater's Daughter by Melinda Salisbury. I have read this one. I enjoyed it enough to get through it. Actually, I think this was back when I was first reading um, books like this that are fantasy, and I loved this. But now thinking back, I will not read it again, and I probably won't continue on with the series, so... Then we have The Walled City by Ryan Groudon. I've heard mixed things about this book, actually, and it's been sitting on my TBR shelf for so long that I'm not getting to it. Okay, <laughs> so for series, I have... I feel like this one might also shock some people. Um, Falling, King Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. I realized fantasy isn't really for me. Um... In a sense, I do have a few fantasy series that I'm keeping, but those are just more so, like, I will try them and maybe unhaul them later. But Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. <sighs> Again, this one is one I might change my mind on, because I do still have all of the Throne of Glass books, and I want to try to get into fantasy, so we might keep this one, but yes, we'll see. It's going to go in a separate pile for now. Then I have The Fire Sermon and the Map of Bones. I know I read this one. I have no idea what this book is about. I don't know if I read this one or not. And again, I have no idea what this series is even about anymore. So I'm going to donate them. Then I have another one that might be a shock. And that is An Ember in the Ashes by Sama Tahir and A Torch Against the Night. This is the sequel. I tried to read this book and I just found it very dense and I, or like hard to read dense, not like bad. Um, I couldn't get into the story, so I probably won't read it. Okay, so now I have a stack of non YA books. And the first one is Europe on a Budget, the Backpacker's Guide. 
I had d dreams back like three or four years ago to go backpack around Europe, and I bought this book on a whim. I'm probably never going to use it, and even if I do, there are so many apps on the phone. This is just kind of heavy and then I have Hounded by Kevin Hearn. This is the first book in the Iron Druid Chronicles. I think I bought this book because somebody I knew talked about how it was one of their favorite series, and I picked it up, and I've had this since 2014. So yeah, it's been like five years. I have never touched this book, and I've never even thought about reading it. Then we have Black Beauty by Anna Sewell. I read this for the Reading Rush Readathon, and I did not enjoy this book at all. I gave it like two stars, so I'm going to uh, donate this. But it's also a young reader's edition, so I don't know. But I might donate it, and then I do have a few other uh, books similar to this, like classics that are the young readers. So I might give those to my sister for her daughter when she's a bit older, um, but yeah, for now, I'm not getting, I'm not keeping this one. Then I have We Bought a Zoo, if you can even see it, uh, by Benjamin, Benjamin Nee. Uh, this book came in a Owl Crate unboxing I did. Not Owl Crate, it was some book subscription. That was a mess, but it was a book subscription box that I got, like, two months worth of it just wasn't good the subscription was not owl crate i don't even remember what it was but i got this and i got another book and i am just getting rid of it because again never read it next i have room by emma donahue um i did read this book i loved it but i just probably will never read it again so i can't somebody else love it then I have Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. This one I bought for a class I was taking in college, and I think I read some of it, but I hated this book. Um, I honestly think The Book Thief is still my least favorite book, like, all ever, but I could not read this book. It was so bad. Oh, I finished the class, but I didn't read this. Then I have The Ruins of Lace by Iris Anthony. This is a historical fiction book, I believe. And at the college I was at, there was one of those public library boxes. So it was basically like you can take a book and donate a book type of idea. And I found this in there. And at the time it seemed really interesting, but I have changed my mind. So I'm going to donate it. I promise I'm almost done. <laughs> then I have Dead North. This is an anthology about Canadian zombie fiction. This was for another class. Actually, I think it was the same class I had to read Frankenstein in. Um, I bought it. I never read it. I don't think I even finished the... Um... I don't remember. I know there were a few books I had to read for different classes, but I don't even... I don't think we even used this book, so I don't know. Then I have Sous Chef by Michael Gibney. This is one where, just roaming through the uh, cookbook section, I saw this, and when I was first down in culinary school, it seemed super interesting, but I just have no interest in reading this anymore. Next, I have... Stormfront by Jim Butcher. This is another first book in a series of books that there's like at least 17 of, and I am never getting to this book. Um, again, I picked this up because somebody I knew, I think the same person as the other book, it was one of their favorites, and it sounded really interesting when they described it, but yeah, never getting to it, so why have it? And the final book I have, I have read and I have an audible, so if I do ever want to uh, read it again, I can listen to it. That is The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. I really enjoyed listening to this book. 
but it's not one I probably will ever read again and again. If I do, I have it on Audible already, so why not? Um, yeah, so that is the giant stack of books I am unhauling. I have a bookshelf up here above my desk, and I have one in another room. And right now, there's space on this one, and there's space on that one, and that actually makes me so happy. So, yeah. If you've made it to the end of this video, um, let me know down below if you want to see a bookshelf tour. I can do one of my TBR shelf and one of my other shelf. <laughs> and uh, yeah, until next time, have a great day or night whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!